Welcome to the GXDP700 training video on positioning for acquiring optimum panoramic, frontal dentition, and sinus projections. It's important to familiarize yourself with the various parts of the system. Included are the rotating unit, column controls, touch screen, easy position items such as chin support and bite guide, head supports, hand grips, and positioning lasers. Finally, the exposure trigger, which either may be a handheld device or wall unit. The column control has buttons for patient in, laser alignment lights, carriage up and down, anterior posterior movement, chin rest up and down, and finally a reset button. The touchscreen selections include body size, projection types, kilovolt and milliamp control, and a no dose simulation. Displayed are system status, patient and dose information, as well as graphic and clinical examples of the selected projection. Taking panoramic, frontal dentition, and sinus projections. Set up the acquisition from within your imaging software. Prepare the system. Press the patient positioning button to rotate the unit to the patient in position. Assemble the chin and sinus rests, choosing the appropriate configuration based on the image type being captured. Place the bite guide onto the bite rod. Place the bite guide rod assembly into the chin rest. Then, place barriers on the bite guide and chin rest. Open the head support by turning the knob, then pull the head support assembly fully forward. Place barriers on the head supports. Ensure that the pan tab is selected, then select patient size. Select the appropriate projection button. Exposure settings are predetermined by selecting patient size and projection. However, kilovolts and milliamps can be adjusted at this time. Note, if small panoramic is selected, the width of the image is reduced. Prepare the patient. Ask the patient to remove any glasses, false teeth, jewelry, hair clips, and pins. Place a protective lead apron over the patient's shoulders. Press the up-down keys to adjust the height of the chin rest so that it is slightly higher than the patient's chin, so that the patient will have to stretch up to place their chin on the chin rest. Ask the patient to step into the unit and grab hold of the handles. Excellent image quality such as the image displayed here is a result of careful attention to positioning. Good positioning equals good images. Ask the patient to rest his or her chin on the chin rest. For dentate patients, patients should place upper and lower anterior teeth into the groove on the bike guide. Press the laser button to initiate the laser alignment lights. For mid-sagittal placement, verify that the patient's head is not tilted or turned to one side. For horizontal placement, use the up-down buttons to bring the patient's Frankfurt plane parallel to the laser. For lateral vertical placement, adjust the anterior-posterior movement buttons. The laser lights will not adjust, but the change in position will be compensated for at capture. Carefully push the head support towards the patient. Rotate the head support knob clockwise to close temple supports so that they gently but firmly grip the patient's head. Ask the patient to step forward slightly. This positions them out of balance and hanging onto the support handles and forces them to stretch their neck as far as possible. Check that the patient has not moved and is still in the correct position. Ask the patient to press their lips together and press their tongue against the roof of their mouth. Looking at a fixed point in the mirror will help them remain still for the duration of the exposure. Move at least 7 feet away from the unit and protect yourself from radiation. Make sure that you can see and hear the patient during the exposure. Press and hold down the exposure button for the duration of the exposure. The rotating unit will move around the patient's head and then stop. When the rotating stops, the exposure has been taken. After the exposure, release the head support and assist the patient in getting out of the unit. Follow the instructions in the manual for decontamination of system parts. Note, for edentulous patients, be sure to remove the bite guide assembly and use the chin support attached to the chin rest. For partially edentulous patients, use the partially edentulous bite positioner attached to the bite rod. For all patients, use the appropriate barrier. For more information on proper positioning and usage of the GXDP700, please consult the user manual. Thank you for watching and please visit www.gendex.com for more Gendex instructional videos.